टुडे वी डिस्कस ब्रेक डाउन ऑफ हीमोग्लोबिन हीमोग्लोबिन विल बी ब्रेकन डाउन इनटू हीम प्लस ग्लोबिन सो हीमोग्लोबिन विल बी ब्रोकन डाउन इनटू हीम एंड ग्लोबिन दिस पार्ट ऑफ द रिएक्शन टिल द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ बिलेरोबिन विल टेक प्लेस इन मैक्रोफैज So in macrophage, the hemoglobin is broken down, broken down into first heme and globin, and the heme will finally be broken down into bilirubin. So this heme to bilirubin. Now we'll see the steps how it is broken down. First, the heme heme contains the ferrous ion in its molecule, but when it is acted upon by heme oxygenase. to form biliverdin the iron is released in the ferric form and a second messenger is also released that is carbon monoxide so when heme is undergoing a reaction in the presence of heme oxygenase it forms a green color pigment that is called as biliverdin green color pigment that is called as biliverdin and iron is released in the form of ferric ions and a second messenger is also released that is carbon monoxide this reaction requires nadph plus h plus and because it is a heme oxygenase it will also require oxygen so biliverdin the structural change which undergoes to form biliverdin is that the methyl methyl bridges are broken down between ring a and b to form biliverdin now biliverdin will form bilirubin that is a yellow color pigment in the presence of enzyme biliverdin reductase This biliverdin reductase again requires NADPH plus H plus. End result it forms NADP plus. So we can say that hemoglobin is broken down to bilirubin in the macrophage. First hemoglobin gets broken broken down to heme and globin. Finally the heme breaks down break heme forms bilirubin in the presence of heme oxygenase. and biliverdin reductase heme forms biliverdin a green color pigment in the presence of heme oxygenase utilizing a nadph and oxygen in return it releases ferric form of iron and carbon monoxide biliverdin forms bilirubin that is a yellow color pigment in the presence of biliverdin reductase and nadph plus h plus in biliverdin methyl bridges are between ring a and b are broken down and in bilirubin the methyl bridge between c and d ring are reduced to methylene groups this is the pa pathway in the macrophage now bilirubin being a lipophilic lipophilic molecule cannot transport on its own it requires something to help it transport and this something which helps it in transporting in the blood is albumin so in the blood bilirubin will combine with albumin to form bilirubin albumin complex now this bilirubin albumin complex will try will be traveling to the liver and now the bilirubin reaches the liver in the liver bilirubin will undergo conjugation with the help of 2 udp glucuronate in the presence of enzyme udp glucuronate transferase or bilirubin glucuronate transferase
so the conjugation it undergoes with the help of two UDP glucuronate that is two molecules of UDP glucuronate two UDP is released in the process and it forms bilirubin diglucuronide Bilirubin as it is was lipophilic molecule but now this bilirubin diglucuronide is a water soluble molecule. So this is now water soluble because of the conjugation and bilirubin as it is was lipophilic and therefore it required protein to help in its transport. So this is the, uh, till here, the metabolism is in the liver, that is the bilirubin diglucuronide is formed. But still we have not completed the degradation of hemoglobin. Heme, hemoglobin was broken down into heme plus globin. Globin molecule can be reutilized. Heme is broken down into bilirubin. Bilirubin is transported into the blood with the help of conjugation with albumin, with the help of protein albumin. Then bilirubin gets conjugated to form bilirubin diglucuronide and now this bilirubin diglucuronide has to be degraded further. The bilirubin diglucuronide which is formed in the liver can now go into either the intestine or the kidney. So the further metabolism can take place either in the intestine or in the kidney. Now this bilirubin that is we have will form urobilinogen in the presence of some bacterial enzymes or microbial enzymes we can say that are beta glucourinidase now this urobilinogen if it enters the kidney it forms urobilin that gives yellow color to the urine but if it does not enter the kidney and it goes into the intestine and it is acted upon by other enzymes like glucourinidase it will form stercobilinogen or stercobilin which gives yellow color to the feces So in short, if we summarize the hemoglobin degradation metabolism, we can say that hemoglobin is broken down into first heme plus globin, hemoglobin is broken down into first heme plus globin, globin can be reutilized Utilize. Heme will broken, be broken down into biliverdin, then into bilirubin. Till here, the mechanism is in the macrophage. Bilirubin is lipophilic, therefore, it requires a help. The help is provided by albumin. So, bilirubin albumin complex will transport in the blood. Then it enters the liver where it undergoes conjugation and then it enters the intestine or kidney where it is further degraded or released in the form of either stercobilin or urobilin. That's all for the heme degradation. Thank you.